Hello, and welcome to our third video in our online reputation management video series. Again, my name is Mike, and I'm going to be your guide throughout the rest of this tutorial video series. This tutorial will teach you how to perform your very own online reputation audit. In the last video tutorial, we talked about two major types of internet attacks to watch out for. In this tutorial, I would like to teach you how to do what the professionals call a reputation audit. We will be gathering information from the web to determine the health of your online reputation. Remember, your online reputation is your reputation. This part of the tutorial may cause you to have questions. There are some technical aspects and a few things that you may find may cause you to want more information about reputation audits and online reputation management. Please feel free to send us an email. We would be happy to help you with anything that you see within these tutorials. So let's get started. Step one of performing your very own online reputation audit is to find out who is searching for you. This first step is the most important and perhaps the most difficult to quantify in order for us to properly measure your online reputation, we need to figure out who would be ultimately interested in your online reputation and what they might be searching for. Here are a few examples of finding out who might be searching for you. Let's pretend that you're a college student worried about your online reputation. For many college students today, their online reputation will play a large role in their ability to secure a good job. If you are a college student, the types of people that could potentially be searching for you online would be graduate schools, potential employers, and friends and family. Keeping this in mind, you could more properly regulate your own social media profiles. For example, that trip you took to Cancun last summer, you might want to keep some of those photos from ever reaching your Facebook profile. Your LinkedIn profile could more accurately represent the job you want, not necessarily focusing on the job you do or do not currently have. Your Twitter account? It might be a good idea to stop commenting on funny but inappropriate tweets if you're planning on working for a stand-up company. Now let's pretend that you're a business owner, which you may very well be if you're watching these tutorials. Who would be searching for you? Well, customers, of course, but also your competitors and maybe even potential business partners or vendors. Having negative reviews on Yelp.com would certainly turn your customers off and give your competition negative information to spread about you. Potential partners or vendors may entirely dismiss the idea of doing business with you if they find your reviews bad enough. Not only does Yelp.com and sites similar to it contain information about your reputation, but so does your Facebook fan page or your LinkedIn business page. It may be natural to think, well, if I simply don't have a Facebook page, then there can't be any negative feelings about my online reputation. But think about it this way. If you invite someone to a gathering and you continue to invite them and time after time they refuse to accept your invitation, what type of reputation do they get? Not a good one, right? That same thing holds true for being absent from an online presence. It may seem safer to simply not build an online reputation, but the fact of the matter is, by not having a fan page or a LinkedIn business page, you are actually creating a reputation whether you want to or not. Imagine the impression that your customers will get if they try to find you online and they can't. We live in a time of doing business, where not having a social presence causes doubt about our professionalism amongst customers. It also allows our competitors to fill in that gap and take customers from us. If you are lacking a social media presence, take note and make plans to fix that. In our next video, we are going to take a look at step two of performing our very own online reputation audit.